next stop is New Belgium Brewing. We're gonna leave from here, go some weird indirect routes. Uh, once waypoints are enabled, this will be much easier to force it to go where we wanna go. But we're gonna let it go through the city still instead of taking a direct route and see how it does. This is improved, it doesn't speed up as much in here. Still goes, still tries to go full speed, but it doesn't like immediately go full speed like 9.2 did. Turn left Sky walking across here. I think can creep up a little bit more. Maybe it'll do that once he's. Yeah, there we go. He needs to stop again. Perfect. And now it's ready to go. Gone in the wrong way. Come on, get it. It's thinking that way. Oh, we are taking right lane. Okay, sorry. I thought we were taking a left. Got in the correct lane. Now we are taking a left. Yeah, there's not a lot of traffic today at all. It's been a long time since I've seen Asheville like this. Yeah, this is pretty bare for Asheville. This is uh, this could be also why it's doing better. Um, definitely have less traffic than it did last time for sure. And the reason is probably because it's after Labor Day. Yeah, the school's back in. That's true. In 500 feet, turn left onto Hilliard Avenue. Come back out in October. Leaf season. Leaf season is, yeah. If you ever come to Asheville in October, it's crazy. Now turn left onto Hilliard Avenue. First three weeks of October. This is, I don't like this. I can't see myself. It really, really needs to creep. There go. No, stop. Okay. So this, I need really need to get my 360 camera on the roof for situations like that, so they can they can see it. So it needs to go straight here. It needs to get. It's not seeing the right lane. So I I mainly did that to train it. Okay. Ooh, almost went into the curb. Okay need to record that as a issue. I was actually seeing the intersection really well. Is that? This is a straight line? Yeah. That's a turn only lane right there. Oh. It can't, it That's doesn't odd. see the, it's pretty clear from my point of view, but I can't see the, see the turn signal. It stopped aggressively because it saw that car coming to our lane. He was flew. about to go through the. They, they had a stop sign. Yeah. yeah. He just <laughs> flew through that stop sign. Yeah. Now your destination is on the left. I like how it just continues smoothly right afterwards. Just side note, have you, ever, right onto Church Street. have you ever seen the Twitter account for that little hot spot we passed back there? No. <laughs> they crazy? It's not actually run by them. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny account. It's been going for almost 10 years. That's funny. Ooh, yeah, look at this. This is not even a... Is it, what's going on here? 
Yeah. This is a parking lot we're going through. We're just went for the... No stop. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Uh, it should have slowed down there. I'm going to... That's a good edge case. I'm going to snapshot that. Yeah, that's totally an edge case. Um, but why is it stopping? It... Just, it sees cones and I think it's overly really cautious. Oh, it, Okay. Yeah, that was a good test. I like that. Okay, so we're gonna... I'm gonna stop going right here. From here. Now your go. destination is on the right. There we go. Now turn right onto Collier Avenue. We'll do it. Creep in the chest. Okay, now. Now turn left onto Buxton Avenue. So much easier when you have someone else to navigate it. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay. Now turn right onto Cox Avenue. stop sign. Yeah, these stop signs on the right really far out. I've even missed those before. But, yeah, they got it flying through that stop sign. In 500 feet, turn left onto Hilliard Avenue. Have we had a disengagement yet? Yeah, we did, because of that turn lane. Disengaged once, I believe. Yeah. Which that, since it couldn't see that it was a turn lane, perhaps that was more of a vision issue than less of a routing issue. Now, if it could have solved the turn lane, then it was definitely a routing issue, but it didn't, it couldn't detect the, the um, turn marker on the road. Is there anybody watching? Um, this little hotspot gas station right here on the right has its own Twitter account. It's a funny Twitter account. They've had it going for almost 10 years now. It's Hotspot AVL. Wow, bus. Okay. It's freaking out because of the bike lane. Now turn left onto Queen Avenue. Yeah. Why doesn't it let me tap? And then I'll bring us back through that. Yeah, I'll get some more roundabout tests. Okay, I press the accelerator just to start it. It's probably, it was waiting for that car to go. And it shouldn't come on go it shouldn't stop it should just slow down creep and then continue going I'm pressing that I'm pressing it so it doesn't okay this is the same road where it went too fast last time okay so you need to be rather spec for that and other around the belt. <laughs> oh, it stopped. That was appropriate, but it was coming in too hot. In 500 feet, enter the roundabout and take the second exit. Now enter the roundabout and take the second exit.
So that was an appropriate yield, and then it actually stopped. It slowed down and it kept on going. So this was a good roundabout. If I remember correctly, it did a lot better in, on that specific roundabout than it did the last time. So now... Yeah, that, was, that was the one where it was jerking a lot. Yeah. We actually stopped in one of these parking lots before, but we'll go to the New Belgium from here. And then that will be the end of this video. Engaged, but it didn't handle that greatly. <laughs> I think I was a little bit freaked out. I guess he technically was on the wrong side of the road. Yeah. That's definitely so speed humps. Yeah, I think as long as they've got the arrow like that, it, yeah, it knows. knows what it is. Otherwise, they're kind of invisible, and if you didn't know it, you'd probably go over it fast. Right. And I wouldn't see that if it didn't. Right, it's in the shadow. It's going faster than it did last time. Pretty sure. Yeah, this this road seems a lot smoother. And the speed humps are definitely I mean this is an appropriate speed for sure. It seems faster though than at 9.2, which is not a bad thing I'd say. people in the room. I'm surprised they heard us and got over. Yeah. It does make a decent amount of tire noise. Yeah, it seems a lot more confident. Before, I would like kind of have a little bit of jerkiness going back and forth, like dropping, going up and down one mile an hour. But now it's, it just seems to be a lot more confident. On, on this type of road. You notice it's driving more toward the middle. Yeah. Um, for me, I'm mostly okay with that. Um, it just depends. It should have been more right around the blank corner. But when you can see where you're going, it's okay. It just depends on the situation, I guess. fast cross traffic there's nothing coming there's a guy walking on my left and it's gonna go and it just goes for it but it also needs to slow down here. And make sure the stop for these cars it's not gonna go. didn't need to jam on the brakes so hard there but otherwise it made that turn well I think it's just the, it's at the entrance. Yeah, right. Um, I put it down to the other one. Feet, your okay. destination will be on the left. Yeah, it's yeah, it's more confident going around these curves. Real test is if I can make it next week and up to up to Mount Pisgah. Mm -hmm. We're gonna pull in this spot real quick right here. Uh, design our next route. Uh, what do you think about that drive, Mike? I think it did a pretty good job. Uh, definitely more confident in the um, actual driving. Yeah. The road I, curves and over the speed humps and everything. Yeah, I agree. Um, definitely, definitely a step forward when it comes to city driving. When it comes, well, yeah, city driving. When it comes to I don't know what you would call the outskirts, um, kind of like this area, um, at least around Hendersonville, it did not do so well. And so I'm just curious if that will improve at the next update. 
but overall, Asheville is definitely an improvement with version 10. I'm pretty happy about that. We'll plan our next route and see you in the next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye.